We are being joined by Robert Levinstein from the Sharon Playhouse. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Marshall. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so, so I get you guys. I get you guys when you. When, I think when you guys came up here a couple of years ago, you didn't know you'd be moving into Tornado Alley. <laughs> we we had no idea. That is very true. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Good morning. So now, uh, scheduled for tomorrow night is the sold out show uh, of uh, Motown Under the Stars. Uh, the weather forecast is very iffy for tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. Uh, are you guys going to run the show or uh, postpone it for a day? We are not going to run the show. We announced it around 3 o'clock yesterday that we're going to move the show until Sunday. With the weather being so iffy, we just wanted everyone to be in a safe place. And uh, so Sunday looked really nice, and we're hoping that everybody can join us by moving everything to Sunday. The cast was able to do it. J.P. Gifford was able to do it with the dinner. So we said, you know what, let's just make it an easy, an easy shift and just make it easy for everyone to just enjoy the show on a Sunday night when it's going to be a beautiful night out and not have to worry about thunder and and tornadoes and all of those things. And and what's and you're going to keep it, uh, the show time is going to be the same eight eight o'clock, right? Shows time is at eight o'clock. And right. and Sunday's uh, forecast is going to be temperatures at that time in the uh, upper sixties to low seventies and beautiful weather. So <laughs> it's it's going to be a great day. So so for those of you who, if you if you don't have tickets, don't worry about it, folks, because it's sold out. But for those of you who uh, have your car all registered, uh, it will be held Sunday night, not on Saturday. Uh, that is uh, uh, Motown Under the Stars. But now, can we take a few seconds to talk about a couple of other shows that you have coming up as well? Sure. Uh, I did an interview, and we'll we'll start it next week with uh, Joshua Turchin, uh, who uh, uh, is an amazing uh, kid, uh, the perfect fit, the musical. Tell me a little bit about how you found out about this musical and Joshua, and explain to people what this show is all about, because that is coming up on September the 5th at 8 p.m. Yeah, Joshua came to us through a musician friend of ours. We started putting the word out to uh, the New York community and, and producers out there that we have a drive-in theater, uh, that we're doing live concerts. Everything we do is going to be at the concert this year. Uh, we're still working with our union to do book shows and to do actual shows with lyrics and dialogue and everything, but um, not, we're not quite yet, there yet, uh, so we're doing concerts for everything. And Joshua came to our attention and... It sounded like the perfect fit for us to do his show. I just made that up, so that was fun. Um, uh, yeah, he's a 13-year-old genius who wrote the book, the lyrics, everything. He's arranging all the songs. He's just a stunning young man. I've never met anyone like that before. So we just thought it would be a great way for him to get the word out about his show, um, a, broad, a pre-Broadway concert of all his music. And he'll be here, and he'll talk about the show, and he'll narrate to get us to every song. He's bringing a, a great group of people, a di diverse group of people, some from Hadestown, some from, um, oh, what other shows? School of Rock, Aladdin. There's a whole bunch of great Broadway performers coming to uh, sing up here in a concert on September 5th. And uh, actually, I think they're coming up September, uh, Friday to do a little rehearsal, and then they're going to do the concert on September 5th. And if people want to know more about that right now, we're going to air the interview beginning uh, uh, this weekend. But right now, it's online at RobinHoodRadio.com on demand. Click on interviews. You can hear the interview. But also with the interview, I uh, included the video that uh, he's amazing. Uh, he's produced with everybody that uh, that has worked in the show and talked about the show. Uh, oh, great. And, yeah, so Thank you. that's up online for you people that want to know what it's all about. You can not only hear him, but then you can see uh, some of the things that he's done. I was just amazed when I spoke to him how far advanced he is. What, he's 13 years old? 13 years old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he, his knowledge of Broadway is, is staggering anyway. Uh, yeah, we went to have a little contest between him and Alan about it. Musical theater trivia and see who knows more. <laughs> Alan might have a run for his money on this kid. It's great. <laughs> All right. And then, and that is that is next Saturday. And then the Saturday after that on September 12th at 8 o'clock, Ivy League stand-up, Ivy League of comedy. Now explain a little bit about that. Well, we've always wanted, we've wanted to do comedy in our Bach gallery uh, for our Cox and the Cabaret, and it just has never worked out. And then this group of comedians that are in the New York area and some in Connecticut, uh, we reached out to them and see if they have some comics who are kind of local who want to just do some fun comedy with us that night. And we're hoping, you know, we said we can be a little, maybe a little risque, it doesn't have to be 100% clean. No, it's comics, it's late at night, so we'll see what happens. But we wanted to dip our toe into the comedy 
into the comedy world to see if our audience up here will enjoy it, and we're hoping they do. And and, and what's what's interesting about this is that um, once again, it's by it's via car, not individual tickets. That's right, buy a car, fifty dollars per car. So if you have three people in your car, it's a really inexpensive evening out. Uh, Sean and the Eli- bar yeah. and J.P. Gifford is providing doing the dinner for all these events. So it's a nice way to have dinner dinner and shows. Uh, and then in September next month, we're going to open the patio as well and do cabaret shows in our patio. And that's going to be a dinner and show ticket price. We haven't quite finished figuring that out, but we just got the permission from the Connecticut state to be able to do some cabaret nights on our patio as well. You know, it's something completely different. I think it's amazing the way you guys uh, started out the season, uh, postponing the season until next season, but then uh, you went right into work and people around here have been very lucky and it, it shows because every show that you're doing is, is selling out. They, it's been a very, yeah, we keep saying we're a theater for the community. And uh, we truly mean it. It's, we wouldn't do this if we didn't love this, this community. And they've been respectful to us, and they love everything we're doing. And we love seeing everybody in their cars, and it's just so much fun for us. So we're going to keep going until Mother Nature says we can't do it anymore. And I think it's great that you've hooked up with J.P. Giffords uh, right here in Sharon uh, yeah. also as part of that little triangle because everybody helps one another in local communities no matter, no, right. no matter how they can. That's right. Yeah, and we're working with the, uh, the Millicent Movie House now as well to see if We'd put a screen out and then do some stuff to help support her a little bit, uh, Carol Sadlin, since she's not able to open her doors now. Yeah, she has been absolutely devastated by this. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, they have been doing online, and that's all great and everything. And also, I, I think what people should know is that what you're putting on here now, uh, folks, uh, the money that, it, that comes in <laughs> – uh, this is more of a support mechanism for your support of the Playhouse and this Playhouse's support for you. Uh, nobody getting rich on this here. Uh, the ticket prices are incredibly low for a car of people, and uh, and it's meant to be that way. So I, I just think people have to realize the service that you are performing above and beyond the call of duty here at the Playhouse by putting these things on. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're not, you know, it's it's a labor of love, and that's, that's wonderful for us. That's how we've always wanted to make it. We don't want to make it to the point where People can't afford to do it, so we wanted to make it inexp- um, inexpensive so it can be an evening out for everybody. And it just pays for itself, which is what we wanted it to do. So donations, I keep saying donations, are still being accepted. Our wall of fame is being reprinted as we speak and delivered here. So Because um, every time that someone donates $250 or more, we put their name on our giant 52-inch wall of fame uh, that we're actually going to put in the parking lot this time so everybody can see their names who have donated. So um, I will take more money, and we'll keep going because then now it's starting to pay for next year as well. We're starting oh. to look into next year about what we're going to do. Well, once again, uh, the Sharon Playhouse, uh, once again, instead of tomorrow night, Motown Under the Stars, Sunday night, uh, it's 8 o'clock. Those tickets are all sold out. On a Saturday, September 5th, the next show, The Perfect Fit. Uh, and after that, on the 12th, uh, Ivy Stand-Up, the Ivy League of Comedy. Uh, all that information and more available at SharonPlayhouse.org on their Facebook page. And also 860-364-7469 uh, or SharonPlayhouse.org. Well, uh, keep up the busy work, guys, and we'll look forward to, to hearing this music on Sunday night. Thank you, Marsha. And thank you for everything you do for this community as well. You know, you're you're one of the first things we look on Facebook and all the social, social media to see where tornado warnings are happening and phone calls to you about you think it's going to rain. So you and the radio station are a huge uh, part of our decision making and our communication. So thank you for staying with us and staying with this community for so long. All right, guys. Oh, we'll, we'll see you this weekend. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much, Marsha. Bye-bye. Thank you. Uh, once again, the Sharon Playhouse, a Motown under the stars, will be held Sunday night uh, at 8 o'clock. It's going to be a beautiful night, uh, taking Pat Pagano's advice, which is great.